Hey Amped Kids, it's Lane, your favorite host. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back, so nobody worry, you can wipe your tears away. We are so pumped that you guys are here for yet another Amped episode. Today is gonna be super cool because we have some new fun stuff, and I'm pretty sure Dr. Lulu is like setting a balloon on fire. I'm not really sure. You're gonna have to stay tuned to look. Here's Dr. Lulu. Einstein. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so full from Thursday. Man, it was good, but I oh know we got to do science now. Okay, okay. All right, so kids, guess what? We have a really cool experiment today. Einstein and I are so happy to be with you right after Thanksgiving. So for this, you'll need a grown-up's help because we're going to use some fire. Okay? And we want you to have a grown-up to help you with that part. Now, here's what you need. A balloon from your box. Actually, two balloons from your box. Some water and either a match or a lighter or a candle. Use what you have at home. You should be able to find stuff to do this pretty easily. First, you take one of your balloons and you blow it up and tie it off. Okay, for the next part, you'll need some help. Get a helper to help hold open the balloon while you pour water inside. Okay, after you've got your water in your balloon, then you blow it up and tie it off, okay? You have two balloons, one balloon with no water and one balloon with water. Oh look, it dances, how cool. Okay, now this is when you're gonna need a grown-up's help, okay? You take the balloon that has no water in it light your match or your candle or your lighter and then guess what oh did you see that how cool pops okay so this is when you need your grown-up again okay light your lighter look the balloon doesn't pop and it makes a cool black mark too you try this at home and have fun see you next time Holes. They can be found everywhere. In tires, old socks, moldy Swiss cheese, the wall in the cafeteria that Dennis needs to fix, donuts. I have some terrible news! My new invention, the donut dispenser 5000, malfunctioned! And threw donuts everywhere around the cafeteria! Everybody! Help me eat this donut before the mice get them! Very well. We don't want mice. Kids, line up in an orderly oh, yeah, 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 yeah. fashion. Donuts, give me that. Donuts, donuts, yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, it's donut time. You call that a donut? This is a donut. Behold, the delicious jelly filled sugar supreme donut that doesn't have a hole in the middle like yours. Ooh. I bet you wish you had this donut, but you do not. <laughs> you see what I did there? Wish the donut and the do not. <laughs> I am so funny. <laughs> Aww. Hey, Gabe. Is something wrong? It's my donut. Looks good to me. What's wrong with the one you've got? Look at all this space. It can be filled with delicious jelly goodness. And it's filled with air. And air doesn't taste like anything. I want a jelly-filled sugar supreme donut. Maybe what you're missing isn't what's important. Huh? We don't always have everything that we want, but we should be thankful for what we do have. Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So what you're saying is, I should make it my goal to look at the donut and not the hole. <laughs> Good one. And you can be thankful for other things, too. I'm thankful for tires. Okay. I'm thankful for old socks. Ew. I'm thankful for the hole in the wall. Yeah, I gotta fix that. Gabe, you can be thankful for things without holes, too, you know. You can be thankful for things without holes, too, you, you know. You can be thankful for things without holes, things too, you know. Things without holes, too, you know. <gasps> I'm thankful to God for everything that he's given me. My shirt, my shoes. 
shoes, my elbow has left me. The sky, the sun, the birds and the trees. I'm even thankful for the smell of moldy cheese. Ew. It took me some time, but some friends of mine helped me understand what I've got in my hand. I'm thankful to God, no matter what I've got. And now I cry for this donut. Mmm! I can't even taste the air. Being thankful sure is tasty. What's got you so happy? It can't be that simple non-jelly-filled donut with a hole in the middle. I've learned that I don't need more things, or the best things, to be happy. I can be thankful for what God's given me, even if it's not a jelly-filled donut. How could you be happy with that? More is better. <coughs> oh, betrayed by my own jelly-filled sugar supreme donut! <coughs> No more holes. Betrayed! Great. More holes. I guess more isn't always better. <laughs> <laughs> donut. I'm thankful for a donut. Donut. I'm thankful for <laughs> More isn't always better. You don't look so good. <laughs> ah! Get away! Shoo! Ow! Ah! Why, Jelly Donut? Why? Hey kids, welcome back to Amped Up Art. My name is Lindsay, and guess what? This past Thursday was Thanksgiving. Mmm, so much good food. My favorite Thanksgiving food is corn. We've got corn on the cob, corn bread, popcorn. Mmm, just thinking about it makes me so hungry. Well, guess what? Today's craft is corn. So what you're gonna need is eight pipe cleaners and a bunch of different colored beads. All right, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take all eight of your pipe cleaners and put them together, grab them from the bottom and twist it just like this. This way your beads won't fall off the bottom of your pipe cleaners. Once you've got it all twisted like that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna separate your pipe cleaners from each other and put 10 beads on each one. Once you've got 10 beads on each pipe cleaner, you're gonna cut right there. Take the top and do the same thing you did on the bottom. Twist it all together so that the beads don't fall off. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda move around the beads a little bit, position them how you want them to look so that it looks like little corn. And what you can do with your leftovers is you can make a new one. Do the same thing on the bottom, put your beads on each one, and close it on top, so then you can have two. Lindsay, is that corn over there? No, Grandma, this isn't real corn. I know it looks like it, but it's just a craft. Speaking of, next month, we're gonna have pets involved in our amp theme. What kind of craft should I do with pets and Christmas? I don't know, can you guys help me decide? Send in your suggestions to the number on the bottom of your screen if you have any ideas what kind of crafts we should do next month. I can't wait to see some of your suggestions. We'll see you next time. Bye. We hope you guys had an amazing time watching today's episode of Amped. 
I know I did, and I definitely have missed it, so I need to stay tuned more. And that reminds me, you guys need to stay tuned for December's episodes because it has something to do with some dogs like Mr. Axel here. And if you love dogs or any type of animals, you're going to love it even more. We hope to see you then. Follow us on Instagram at Amped Online to stay up to date on the latest news, air dates, and extra content. Check out our webpage at ampedwestchurch.com to watch full episodes, segments, get more information about upcoming events, and more. Also, text AMPED to 704-343-8955 to sign up for your free AMPED subscription box.